Well, John Clark from JRC Studios in Georgia, I've got your camera mount. I just took it for a ride and mudded my camera, but I've got to add some attachments to it to make it more universal so I can get more shots at the farm. This works great for side body views and tires and spinning and all that stuff. But now I've got to add a bracket so it can point the camera right to this area and film the driver. Then I've got to add another bracket so I can put it inside the vehicle, stick it to the roof and make a U bracket so the camera can turn around and be the right way while the bracket's upside down sitting on the inside of the roof to do inside camera shots like that. And I've got to make a, an L bracket, another attachment that's going to stick out to the side so that the camera can be mounted and swiveled better. But I like the idea, so now I've got a mounting base to uh, put about four different extensions on and I'll just keep switching the swivel ball. Swivel ball, I mean. Very calm. But she works good. It's got lots of problems, but I like it. Now we just need to give it a serious exhaust mod. Make it sound like it belongs here. Yeah, I also tried a hood shot, but when it's positioned that low, the glare on the windshield is so great that you can't see the driver inside, so I have to make an extension so the camera could be mounted up here, looking at the window at 90 degrees to eliminate the glare. Let's see if it's got a rev limiter. Yep. She does. Too bad. Something banging in the rear end.